Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Biora Therapeutics, ticker symbol B-I-O-R. And so I just wanted to do a follow-up on this stock because it has been trading lower, hitting new lows, uh, like on December 7th, uh, hitting a low of a dollar and five cents. And so Bior began the week Monday, December 4th, closing above $1.20, which I had felt was a significant level. But then the following four trading days, closing below that level, uh, which is pretty disappointing. Uh, but, you know, it is it is what it is. Um, and so with that, uh, a couple things that stand out to me is that lower lows, you know, have been formed. And almost it looks like uh, higher lows are being formed with the RSI, which is p potentially bullish divergence. However, because there is this dip on uh, November, uh, sorry, November 29th, as well as kind of a little bit of a dip on December 6th, I do feel that the RSI could dip some more along with the price uh, that would then, you know, kind of connect this dot with the endpoint. And then that would represent um, some actual uh, significant uh, bullish divergence. So I do think, unfortunately, there is some more downside to go. Um, but yeah, I just so I just wanted to go over some of the levels that kind of stand out to me. And so the first thing you might notice is this vertical white line here. And so that is a Fibonacci retracement uh, from the uh, low and uh, the, uh, the low prior to uh, the uh, which I believe happened in the pre-market prior to the uh, violent move up to above $2 a share in the after hours on, uh, let's see, November 30th. So that Fibonacci retracement, this is the origin of that, you know, a dollar and 10 cents. And so a good thing is that there has not been a close below a dollar and 10 cents. And actually uh, the lowest, um, let's see, uh, I should say, uh, all four of these days that were trading below a dollar twenty, um, all of them had uh, lows going to a dollar thirteen point two, with that being the lowest uh, value on December fifth. So it does seem like there might be developing uh, some support might be developing there. So I do think that is good. Uh, another thing that's on here is the 786 retracement, which would be going to $1.36.1. I do think that's going to be an important level to consider, especially uh, looking at how on uh, December 4th, Monday, uh, the high could not get to that level. Um, and so uh, let's see, I also have a $1.52 marked here, uh, which I believe I had in a video, a prior video. Uh, and then I also have the 618 from the Fibonacci, this white line, uh, which is at a $1.56.6, uh, which is right around the opening value uh, for December 1st, uh, following the good news uh, received by Biora. And then the high of that day uh, was $1.61, so that's marked in green. And so I do think that will be a significant level uh, moving forward. Uh, and then I will share a, a few more levels uh, up to, to the upside, but I don't want to change the chart just yet. I do want to point out that, uh, you know, at least for myself, what I have been doing when price was up in this area, um, I had been uh, making orders placed at around $1.30. And uh, basically, since uh, this move up and the prices uh, going down, uh, basically what I've done is I've still been uh, making purchases, but I've basically cut that standard order size down to 10%. And so every uh, new penny that it drops lower, I basically make a one-tenth of a position or one-tenth of a buy. Uh, to try and get my average down. So that's been working pretty well for me. Um, I do think that there's a lot of promise with this company, with the stock uh, moving forward, uh, but I do think that there is going to be some more downside, potentially going to a dollar a share. Uh, so I am bracing for that. I am ready for that.
And so to expand on the chart upwards a little bit, I'm just going to add the 50 day moving average, uh, which is currently at a $1.71.5. Uh, so that is this blue line here, that blue point there. And so uh, I do think it would be really, really great if not only we got a close, one close above that level, but also if there were two closes that would serve as confirmation that uh, the 50 day moving average is now below us and we can uh, gracefully, you know, move higher unlike when we had this pullback from the high of 2.32 uh, during the after hours on November 30th. I also have $2 marked. I think that's going to be a significant psychological level to close above, as well as 2.28, uh, which I believe I had gone over those in prior videos. Uh, but you know, those are my thoughts on Biora. Uh, and if you enjoyed them, if this video is helpful for you, make sure you like it, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.